an abundance of rain. 1 Kings 18, 41 and 44. And Elijah said unto Ahab, Get thee up and eat and drink, for there is the sound of abundance of rain. Context of this. There was drought in Samaria where Ahab, king of Israel, reigned. The prophet was told by God to tell Ahab the king that there will be an abundance of rain. The backdrop to the story is that Elijah had just had a grand victory on Mount Carmel where he defeated the false prophet of Baal. Now the promise was that there will be a rain. There will be an end of the drought in Israel as God said there will be an end of the drought in your life, in my life today. And Elijah said unto Ahab, Get thee up, eat, drink, for there is the sound of an abundance of rain. But the prophet went to the top of Carmel. He prostrated himself. He prayed and he prayed. And he sent his servant to look. There was no rain. And he did it again and there was no rain. And three times and there was no rain. And the fourth time and there was no rain. And he tried again for the fifth time and there was no rain. A moment of discouragement. What? do you do? You pray, you prostrate, you ask God, God has promised, but yet there is no rain. The principle of perseverance, the principle of waiting on the Lord, those that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength, they shall mount up with wings like eagle, the prophet said. Oh Lord, they wait and he waits. And he sent a second time, the sixth time, and there was no rain. Verse 44, and he sent his servant out again. And it came to pass at the seventh time that he said, Behold, there arise a little cloud out of the sea, like a man's hand. A little cloud out of the sea like a man's hand. And, and he said, Go out, say unto Ahab, Prepare thy chariot, and get thee down, that the rain stop thee not. The Lord has promised, He is faithful. And today there will be an abundance of rain. Trust him today. What say you?